the biggest misconceptions that I think that people have about data is that it's assuming that the data that you have is the data that you need. So a lot of people in organizations look at their data repository and then they, they focus the creation of their research question or their results around the data that they have, assuming that that's the right data. And it, it's not often. You have to create your question first and articulate the type of data you need to answer those questions in isolation from the data repository. And then if you don't have exactly the data you need, that doesn't mean that you can't still do the research project, but you have to be transparent about mm -hmm. what the gaps are, how that data may or may not completely answer your question, and the reliability of your results based on the fact that you don't necessarily have the data that you need, or it may not be of the quality that you need to be able to fully answer the original question. Often people ask the question, use the data they have and present it as the answer without that sort of gap analysis. And that I think is the biggest problem we have with not only results that you see in polls or in the news, but in sort of organizational data analysis. That's, I think that's the biggest problem. I've seen that too. I've definitely been in positions where I don't have the data that I ideally want, but I still have to do the analysis with what I have. And I try and mm -hmm. list the assumptions and state the fact that I'm using this because I don't have this. And that can be difficult too, because the people that I'm presenting to may also not be as data literate and they're hearing one message and maybe not thinking about the nuance. And I've also seen issues where I've run a test for somebody and then later I run another test and they take the metric from the second test and put it on a slide right next to the metric from the first test. Well, you can't do that because there's just so many differences in the time periods, but you're not always dealing with people who are going to understand that nuance. And that's why data literacy is important is because it's not just about the data analyst being able to do the test and have the data and model the data. It's about the people on the other end, on the receiving end, being data literate enough to be able to understand and interpret the results and ask the right questions as a result of that. So basic data literacy is a, an issue that the entire workforce needs to mm -hmm. embrace. Data literacy is not just for people who, who do data analysis. It, it really should be for everybody. Otherwise, as you pointed out, you end up with people who are not able to take in and, and make good decisions based on, on the analysis that you've done.